Stanford University. Because these are going to be a lot of the same answers coming back and forth. That's why you keep those papers. So where is it starting? Yep, type it in. With the use of EPGY, one of the reasons we brought it in is we have a lot of students who are not at grade level and their basic math skills were really weak. And to try and practice all of those in a regular class setting and try and hit what each individual student really needed help with was very difficult because it was a wide range. And what's the partner with three? Three times what? Three times six. Six. Stanford University EPGY is a leading developer of online courses for school-aged children. EPGY is used by students around the U.S. and the world. Services provided by Stanford EPGY to schools include full implementation, training, on-site support, and reporting and data analysis of student progress. The San Jose Unified School District is the 11th largest urban district in California, serving 32,000 students. The district has been using EPGY mathematics since 2005. It was kind of interesting because initially EPGY, you know, Educational Program for Gifted Youth, was intended to, to service the needs of gifted children. And the dialogue we had with EPGY at that time was, if it works for gifted children, why won't it work for children that aren't gifted? I with, with some other individuals were, the, were early birds or pioneers of this, not just myself, there, you know, there's a list of people. Uh, started already in, in the early 60s. My very first programs, I can remember an elementary school student, I think we still have a photograph, 1963, doing an exercise on the computer. In those early years, uh, in terms of support and focus, much of the work was of the underachieving students. So we, we've had here a great mix of both, working with very gifted students, some of the most gifted students in mathematics in the United States, and at the same time, organizing ourselves to think hard about how can we help the underachieving students. We're seeing some incredible gains on the CST, the California Standards Test, for these kids in mathematics. Hoover Middle School in San Jose, California began using Stanford EPGY in 2008. More than 700 of Hoover's 6th and 7th graders are using EPGY math. I think it was really neat that we got to use the computers instead of sitting in a classroom. And I feel that it really helps you because it's more interesting. The students love EPGY. I think that ever since I've been using EPGY, my students' math scores have increased. I feel that doing math on the computer motivates the students and it keeps the students engaged. Lowell Elementary School, also in San Jose, started using EPGY in 2005. Five years later, Lowell was recognized with the Title I Academic Achievement Award. The way I describe it to the parents is that it's a, a math program that takes the kids at their current level and spirals them through all of the standards and slowly builds their knowledge and increases their levels. And we have, we have a rather complicated, uh, what we call in the computer world, an algorithm that is a method of computing on the basis of that individual student's work, not on any other student, how fast that student should advance and in which parts of the curriculum. It tells you how to do it first and then it gives you some problems and then if you don't get it right, I guess it gives, you, it gives it to you again, gives you the information to do it right. If our particular hints aren't giving you this particular concept, we move you to another concept. If you're failing something, we'll move you back down to something similar, but a little bit easier until you can get that. And once you've got that, you'll come back up to the curriculum. Stanford EPGY Math automatically assesses students' mastery and adjusts to their individual needs. Students receive immediate feedback and hints based on common and correct answers. The data-driven and research-based program goes through continuous improvement. Kids are on the computers, they're answering questions, they're being challenged, the software switches questions around and is tracking their abilities. And at the end of every session or any time period, we can look at the, the logs of the six basic areas of math and look at which ones are ahead, which ones are behind. And the teacher can look at that and craft a uh, classroom training. It reinforces mathematical concepts and vocabulary. Um, there's a portion in EPGY called the glossary, 
So if they encounter a mathematical term that they may not know the exact meaning of, you can click onto it. Well, it's helped me a lot to increase on everything and every school in math. And it actually helps me in the classroom when we're doing math. Yes, the instructor tells you what to do and he tells you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the process. So you're learning something new, but it's also learning how to say it in English. You cannot teach one size fits all. Students come to us with so many different levels of abilities, so many different needs that you have to structure the learning program so that students can learn at the level that they feel most comfortable learning at and succeed. What I usually tell my parents is um, it works for them, um, especially the kids who are disadvantaged economically, so it gives them an opportunity to have that extra help um, that they can't get maybe outside of the school. Some parents can't get tutors, and so that's in a way for them. It just supports them. I think it's uh, really working great for our advanced kids and our average kids. They're really seeing the, the most of, uh, of the benefits and uh, the greatest growth. For our gate kids, they're really, um, they're doing incredibly well. I'm seeing them going uh, a year above grade level. At Lowell, students' mathematics proficiency went from 38% to 68%. The school's academic performance index increased from 666 to 798. And in 2010, Lowell was recognized as a California Distinguished School for Strong Academic Progress. EPGY is a fantastic program for the whole school community, the teachers, the students, the family. The first year was uh, we had really strong gains on the CST and of course you never know exactly what it is that makes the difference but it seemed like it was it, it was good for us so we continued and again really strong gains on the CST we were able to get out of program improvement and now we're committed we, we don't want to let it go.